So hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a, um, not a really exciting video as I would usually say. It's actually quite a, not a nice video at all really, but I really want to share this with you and I'm so, so anxious, so please don't leave any hate and at all because I can't deal with it on this video. I can do with any other videos, I get that people have different opinions. But this video, I have no idea what I'm going to call it, and I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. But um, something happened to me, and I've mentioned it, I've touched on the subject a little tiny bit, not the subject at all, I've told you about something that happened to me when I was eight, and it was to do with YouTube. Now, I just, I'm getting so much goosebumps, I can't also ignore my face right now. But I'm filming this at half ten, and also I've got a sore throat, so I'll just ignore that. But, um, I had a really bad experience occur does that make sense okay so i don't know where to start i've just only plucked up the courage to do this i've honestly been sitting here hours thinking should i do it should i do it and i thought oh, i'm gonna do it and i've got some um examples well slash proof i've got evidence and stuff like that but i don't know how safe it is to do this video this why i've always worried about this and what I'm going to be talking about in this video, it's, I'm going to put a trigger warning on it, just in case, so um, quite a big trigger warning as well. Also, um, no one knows about this ever happening to me, except from my, obviously my family, my closest family, and my, even my two best friends don't really know, I've told them about it, but I've never really been able to explain it in real life, because no one knows the extent of how much this affected me so 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 much mentally and basically it is about being groomed on the internet and it's about paedophiles basically i honestly hate that word so much and people seem to like to make jokes out of it and it's not a joke and i just can't so before anyone like before i start the actual story i wasn't ever actually sexually assaulted but, but I just, I don't want to people, people to think I'm like trying to be, oh, sim be sympathy for me, I was sexually assaulted, I was never actually sexually assaulted. This was an actual online grooming thing that happened because I did YouTube when I was eight. And basically, um, obviously my mum and dad, like, they would have kept, they were kept and keeping a check on it. But, um my mum wasn't in like a good place because her dad had just died and this all happened it started in august 2013 so i'm just gonna get straight into it basically what happened right so i completely from a young age okay who remember, you know anastasia kings north um flora princess she used to have a mushy channel as i think a lot of you know it's called anastasia mushy and she was like the best youtuber ever to me when i was that age when I was eight, and she still is now, but obviously she doesn't do Mushy Monsters. <laughs> but I kind of, I just loved Mushy Monsters. It was my whole, whole, whole life. Honestly, it was like everything to me. And I just, I've always loved YouTube, but I watched Zoella from when I was like six years old. I know it's so weird, like six years ago. I've always, I've just always watched from my little iPod. And I just really wanted to start a YouTube channel. And obviously when you're eight, you're a bit, like you don't have much common sense you'd a bit um like not told about the occurrence of things that could occur if you get me of things on the internet and also um i have a lot of like i don't know if this actually caused all my mental illnesses because i did have a few problems with my stuff like that before but this is what really, 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 I hate this word, but triggered. I can't, I hate the word trigger, but it really did trigger my mental illnesses and stuff like that. Okay, so basically, I did YouTube and it's not the same channel, obviously, now as this one. But, um, yeah, this all happened when I was about nine or eight. I don't know, eight and nine. But, um, I... This is going to seem like it's such not a big deal to most people, but you don't know the feeling of stepping outside and not feeling like you can look at anyone at all because you're so scared what if it was one of them. What if it was one of them people that were coming to my videos? Honestly, that was the fear 
honestly, every time I saw like an, a man that was a bit older, I shivered so much because I thought, what if that was one of them? I used to get goosebumps with just walking down the street and seeing someone. And that really, 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 it really affected my life badly. And I just, it completely damaged my mental ability. And I don't think anyone, unless you've had something like this occur, will understand the fear of just walking outside and seeing people because it just, oh my god I can't explain it, it just completely wrecked me and I can't even begin to describe the pain that this put me through and the fact is I was so oblivious to it all until my mum and dad sat me down and explained to me what had actually happened and they'd we had to call the police and everything like that but I don't actually know what happened I hope they found them and burnt them to death because they deserved it and I don't care what anyone says I don't agree the death penalty should exist but for paedophiles the death penalty should 100% exist 10 times over exist for them because they are not right they need to just not be here anymore because they're just they ruined <laughs> they ruined my life from the age of 8 until I was about Mm, probably from age 8 till about 11, or, no, not 11, 10 and a half, maybe like that. And after that I still was a bit wary, like, I had some episodes sometimes throughout then, when I, I'd just be like, I'd just start freaking out because I'd, I'd remember it all, if you get what I mean. And I have the same email now as I did then and I have all of the comments I don't have the videos because I've deleted most of them except from a couple that I still have privated from when I was that age and um, I have some comments to show you and I just I don't know what I'm going to call this title I just really wanted to be everyone to be aware and to know I just don't want everyone to be aware of these things that could happen and I want you to be aware if you have children you need to keep them aware of this because it's so disgraceful if you get me I don't know if you get me or not but um okay so <laughs> let's just get started and I started I uploaded my first ever YouTube video on the 20th of August 2013 at 9.38 a.m. and it says that on the email and it says there my first ever YouTube video and it was called just mushy monsters okay so yeah that's so it all started, I thought that's good, let's get some Washy Monster fans in. I had I actually ended up with 2,000 subscribers, that's not a lie, I did. And there was probably about 10 actual real nice people on there, and the rest was just paedophiles. I know, sad isn't it, right. And I honestly, I had like this little book and I'd write down each subscriber count. Little did I know that they were the freakiest names ever. Oh my god, they just, I can't, it makes me crawl with like, I can't. Yeah, and then, um... I uploaded some really weird videos. Like, I did mostly mushy monsters, but I did like a garden tour. I mean, why would I do a garden tour? Do I want people to come and actually kill me in my house? I mean, do you know what? It's really lucky that I never actually gave anyone my address because, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'd be sitting here telling the story right now, would you? Would I, you? Would I? Yeah, okay, and someone commented. They all had really creepy names, by the way, obviously, because they're not going to call themselves like just a normal name they're just gonna be freaky okay so i got this comment on i didn't get many subscribers or comments at all and i got this one on the 23rd of december 2013 and it said they just sent me a message on youtube and put hi summer and what is your skype name so that was a lot of a common thing everyone was asking for my skype name and i didn't have skype being gullible as i am i actually signed up for skype after that i know I honestly don't know what was wrong with me and I was like, I don't think I ever gave anyone out my Skype name so that was really, really, really good, thank God, because I never ever remember doing that. But I definitely did make a Skype and I had emails coming through. But I was like, I was just made a Skype and I was like, bloody hell, let's get this Skype in him, getting nice little comments. But when you're, when you're that age and you're getting comments in from doing YouTube and videos, you're thinking, that's really great, people love me. You don't, you don't click to think maybe if these people are freaky and like creepy, I don't know. But yeah. I don't know why I replied back or if I ever actually did reply back, but that's what I got. And then um, on, I don't know when this was, but someone commented model. Yeah, and if I didn't mention before, I actually did do a little bit of a whoopsie in one of my videos. Not, I didn't do a poo or anything because that sounded like I meant that. I had a 
skirt and not and I was just obviously you know when like you're sitting down when you cross legs and I was showing my mushy monsters and it was on the floor and obviously you're gonna see up my skirt okay I know obviously I'm young I don't really know what's gonna happen I was quite gullible so that's when all the um pedophiles started rolling themselves in and subscribing and commenting so it was kind of my own fault really but it wasn't in a way because it was an accident and no matter what I was a you don't do this is get creepy by the way and then someone commented um this one makes me feel a bit sick in the stomach someone put Love your sexy self, send me a private one, no knickers, hey love. Hey love, bye love, John Joe, he's called John Joe. Like, what did not click my mind? Love your sexy self, send me a private one, no knickers. Send me a private one, mate, mate, I'm eight. I'm eight, okay? Well, I'm not now eight. Even now I wouldn't, but I just, it, it's disgraceful, honestly, I just, I can't, I can't begin, I can't, and if you've, I just, I'm sorry, I just can't, and then this one, okay, is when things started really, oh, and not yet, and then this is someone put, hey, I would like to see a new video, you should wear a skirt because you look really pretty in it. weirdo someone put so adorable love your flowery skirt and your white top brilliant oh yeah and someone gave me a skype and they were called master b if you get what i mean they, that was their name that's like a little bit of a hint they were a bit freaky wasn't it okay add me if you want someone put hello there cutie can i have your email that was on my sister tag video sister tag video i had my little sister in that and she was four no she would be five I can't, she was five, people actually commenting that on my sister tag, my poor little baby sister. And then, this is when we figured out what was happening. Okay, so someone sent me an, an actual email, and it was a, what do you call it, like a, a sexual story about me and him. And this is actually disgusting really 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 downright disgusting and I can't read it all out but it was about being it was a twist on you know towards the night before Christmas and he wrote that and I just bleh, I can't it makes me want to be sick and at this stage I didn't really know what everything meant but the start of the message went Hey, you're really gorgeous and sexy and I like your vids. Here's a story I wrote about me and you. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Bloody hell. I didn't. I'll tell you that now. It's just... It's disgusting. The things he was putting about me in this... Oh my God, I was so young. I was so young. Why? 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 I just... I can't. I cannot comprehend it through my actual brain. I just can't. How could you do that to a small child? How? How, how, how? And I remember um, I sat down one night and my mum and dad, they obviously felt really guilty for not finding it sooner and getting it sooner because people were actually asking for my address and stuff like that. And my mum and dad set me sat me down, obviously, and they explained to me what was happening. And I was so heartbroken because, obviously, I was heartbroken, one, because these weirdos were doing that. And, Two, I thought genuinely people like my videos and I thought that's good. I've got, I'm doing my little mushy monsters like bloody Anastasia Mushy and what's her name, Mushy Monster Kitty. I was like, psychics and stuff like that, you know? And I wasn't. <coughs> <coughs> I cough really weird. No, they didn't. I just, I'll be so sad, so, so, so sad. And then from then on, Things just kept getting worse and worse and worse. Before that, my life was absolutely top-notch. <laughs> my life is still 
medium notch. I quite like my life. It's great. It's good. It's good. And it's quite amazing. It's amazing compared to most people's, but it's also crap compared to most people's because there's people better and worse out than you. And you need to know that. And I don't want everyone to have sympathy for me. I just want to make people aware. And I think I'm a quite positive person now because I think I have gone through a lot at a young age and I just, I needed to film this video, I needed to let it all out and I hope that people are going to watch this and understand a bit more about what it's like having this happen to you because there's not many actual videos about this happening. Obviously there's tons about sexual assault but this is a completely different thing to sexual assault. And um, I just thought I'd go for it, I'm not going to be scared anymore, no one really knows this happened to me. But I went to school the next day and I told a few people and I remember it was just why did I tell people that was one thing and they took I had this my iPad and they took it to the place my mum and dad and we just hoped they did something but for years for like two years after that I just was petrified to go out in my own town because I thought what if they're out there like I just can't, and I know a lot of people are going to be shocked at this because you've seen another side of me, and I do always try and put on my happiest side version of myself when I film, but sometimes you just need to see like another side, like a real side, <laughs> like the real side, and I don't want any sympathy, well I do kind of want sympathy, but like, you know what I mean, I'm not asking for like, everyone to be like, oh I feel so sorry for you, because... I don't want people to be like that. I just want people to understand that's all I want, honestly. I, that's all I want in this whole world. Just, and if you've gone through, through something similar, maybe, just tell me. And also, I wanted to mention as well, I'm always, always, always open for, to, for DMs. I answer each and every one of them. And if you're going through something similar or you've gone through, you're having anxiety problems or depression or any mental illness or physical illness, Honestly, you can just message me because I'll be there. Honestly, I don't care how many messages a day I get, I will answer each and every one of you. And if you want to talk to me about anything, you don't like, I promise that I'll just answer you and talk to you because I just want to help people. That's all I want to do because I didn't really have many people there for me to help me, and that was quite hard because no one really understood and I want to be that one that's understanding and helping people. Please, please, please make sure to subscribe. I do do makeup videos usually. But um, I have got some other serious story times I want to do with you. Anyway, I love you so much. Bye. And also, I want to say, I waited for years after that because I just wanted to do YouTube again. And I finally... Do you know how hard it was for me to pluck up the courage to start another YouTube channel? I've, I was pinning it off because I thought well, if it it's going to happen again, it's going to happen again, it's just going to happen again and it hasn't because I'm such a stronger and obviously more not as gullible because I was, I'm 8 then and now I'm 13 but um, I love you so much, you've done everything and more for me, each and every one of you subscribed and comments on my videos, I love you so much and a giveaway will be coming at a thousand, thank you all very much, love you all, bye.